So we're stopped. I guess we're just gonna sit here. What's up everybody and welcome back to another FSD beta driving video. We have about a 21 mile, 27 minute drive ahead of us. I'm assuming we're gonna hop onto a couple highways, go down some streets and all that good stuff. So we'll see how well FSD can do in this situation. So as you saw that stop sign, perfect. Now coming up here, we have a stop sign with an unprotected left turn. Sometimes it's kind of congested, sometimes it's not. I guess we'll see what happens today. All right, actually it looks pretty clear today. We have to come to a complete and total stop down to zero before the car decides to go. Left side's clear, right side's clear, everything's perfectly clear. It hesitated a little bit, but then took it. Okay, not bad. I've seen it do worse. Now up here at this disabled stoplight, it's basically a brand new stoplight. They haven't covered up because it's not active yet. The car sometimes wants to stop at it, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see what it decides to do today. Slowing down. Okay, we're stopping for the light. Today there's nobody behind me, so I'm gonna see what happens if it uses it like a stop sign or what. So we're stopped. I guess we're just gonna sit here. So as you can see, the stoplight is covered up because it isn't actually active yet. And the thing is, you're not supposed to stop here. You're supposed to act like it doesn't exist because it's nothing. If it was flashing red, you know, treat it like a stop sign. But since we're just sitting here, I guess I'll just take over and go. It's weird, sometimes it stops at those, sometimes it doesn't. That one it always stops at. zone here. Now this is a red light. See, this is where we should stop. I don't know why it has the right turn signal on, but it did turn itself off. Green light. Now this is another thing, I guess it's a mapping issue. It always thinks we're supposed to veer to the left. Usually coming from the other direction, it actually tries to make a left turn, but we're supposed to just continue straight. I'm not sure what's up with the map, but I guess eventually it might get fixed. Now going this way, we'll see if it decides to try to make a left turn or just goes through the intersection straight like it's supposed to. Tesla coming up to the stop. Huh. It's actually switching over to the right lane. That's something. Well, I guess the middle lane, but it's switching over to the right, not trying to make a left turn, so that's good. As you can see, the road is just straight, so I'm not sure why it has a little curve here on the navigation. Even if you look at the navigation here, it looks like it curves around. Like, that doesn't even make sense because it looks straight on the map, but for some reason the navigation is like, we gotta go like that. And if you take a look here, this is constantly trying to say, oh, we're gonna have a turn coming up. I'm not sure if it's left or right because it's just like a split second. I'm assuming it's gonna be right since we do have to hop on the freeway, but we'll see once we get up there. All 
bright green light. Picking up some speed. It actually picked up speed rather well right there. This nag is annoying. It's popping up like every 10 seconds. Now we're slowing down. I guess because we want to get over. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, it's stopping for this traffic light. Can you see a disabled light? I tried to stop at it again. <laughs> you see, that's the second time. So now it's watching this car because we are going to get over to the right. So it's waiting for him to pass. Signal engaged. And we're going to start merging. There we go. Obviously, they could just, you know, geofence the state and be like, oh, if you're in this state, then you can cross the solid line for the HOV lane. So it seems like an easy fix if they ever implement that. Now, if I turn on the turn signal, it'll, of course, cross it. It just won't do it on its own. All right, we have about two miles until our interchange. No risk today for a monsoon, that's good to see. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have to merge over about three lanes of traffic. It's decently clear actually right now, so we have a lot of space to do this, and it looks like we're gonna start. All right, one down, let's see what it decides to do here. We can get over to follow the route and for a faster lane, so let's do something. All right, merging over. We have, I think, one more lane to get over, but I think it will do two, even though the right two lanes go to the exit or the interchange. Less than a mile. Getting kind of scared. 
have a couple of chances to get over here. I think it's going to try in front of this white car, although it's not showing anything yet. There it goes. I don't know why we're slowing down when we're trying to pass this guy. Come on, pick up the speed. Did it really just screw us over? We could have easily made that. I don't know why it slows down so... I mean, obviously there's a car in front of us, but I mean, it should have been able to keep the speed going. Am I really going to take over? Come on. Okay, it's trying to get over now. It's getting over. Okay, last second, but it did it. Now is it going to get over again or just take this one? Oh, there it goes. Thought it was going to miss it, but it got it the last second. All right. Could have been better there, but it did, in fact, make it. I mean, we could have sped up and went in front of that car that was next to us without hitting the car in front of us. There was enough space, but it decided to slow down and basically decide not to get over.
<laughs> That's good though. Boring drives are good drives. Now once we get back onto the regular roads, that'll be interesting. I'm honestly not sure where we're going, so we'll see. Five seconds, it feels like. All right, less than two miles to go. I guess it just chose this lane because it was a shorter option. I mean, honestly, that's what I would do unless we were immediately going to be making a turn one way or the other. But, you know, so far, so good. I'm actually pretty impressed. Look at all this stuff the cameras are picking up like that's crazy that's impressive when I, every time I see that I just it just boggles my mind that it's able to get all this information with just some cameras that aren't even like super high resolution at that that's crazy about one and a quarter 
miles for our left turn. One mile to go. Okay, Got to get over to the left. A lot of people are behind us getting over and speeding past us. Although, I mean, this lane's just slow, I guess. So we should we should have gotten over by now. Okay, we're picking up some speed. Are we gonna get over? No. Okay. That's one of the things. It waits till the last second to get over a lot of the times. I feel like personally, especially since I've never gone over to here, <laughs> I would have gotten over by now, so I'm ready since I don't know what to expect. We're picking up speed. It's pretty congested here. We have half a mile. Okay, now it wants to get over when there's nowhere to get over. Okay. We have our turn signal on. I mean, I'm curious what it's going to do here. Yeah, I don't think we're getting over. It just tried to get over in front of that car, but the car wasn't letting it happen. Let's see, are we going to get over? We have, ooh, oh my god, we actually got over in time for the left turn! <laughs> we got lucky because that car over there was like, okay, you've been having your signal on for a while. I'll just let you go. That 300 though, they should have let us get over, I think. They had space, they sped up to not let us over. But you know, we, we did it. We did it. Now one thing that I have noticed with FSD compared to a standard basic autopilot, it has a hard time of differentiating the cars on the display. Like, as you can see, this just shows a regular sedan and in front of us, we obviously have a truck. So, I don't know, like FSD most of the time just shows cars. Sometimes it converts it over to what it actually is. But with basic autopilot, it was always spot on. It's like, hey, that's a truck. I'm like, well, how's it know that's a truck? I can barely tell it's a truck. <laughs> so that's kind of weird. So what are we doing here? We're gonna make a protected left turn, immediately make a right turn somewhere, and then another right turn. Should be pretty straightforward. Wonder how long we're gonna be stopped at this light though. 108 degrees! <laughs> I like how they made a huge billboard just for that. Like seriously, do we wanna know it's 108 degrees out here? I don't. I would have preferred thinking it was 75. <laughs> All right, any second now, come on, turn red. It's a long green light for nobody. Come on, a green light and a green arrow. Okay, finally, yellow, let's go. All right, green arrow for us. This is a kind of a weird turn, it's not 90 degrees. Okay, we went left to left, we do have to make a right turn pretty immediately, we're getting over to the right. Is this our right turn? I think this is it, we're turning right. All right. So all in all, what did you guys think of this drive? I didn't have any interventions actually, except for you know forcing it to go through the disabled turn light, tur traffic lights. Ooh, can I, is that curb? No. Oh, that was a little. I mean, it's, to be fair, it's a kind of a weird thing. But yeah, other than that, and getting in and out of the, or actually just out of the HOV lane. Let me see if I could get this stuff to park here. There we go. And I missed it. So let me just. <laughs> this guy's in my way. Whoa, man. Alright, don't know if that was me or them, but they were going pretty fast in a parking lot.
<laughs> Anyways, overall, a good drive, no interventions except for the HOV lane and going through turned off traffic lights, which hopefully can easily be fixed, I would think. Let me know what you guys thought and stay tuned for more.